Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to the channel. And this is going to be a very quick colouring chat because I haven't been posting much lately. Um, what with Jennifer being ill and my mum being hurt, it's been a bit difficult. Obviously I had a couple the other day. I thought I'd come in because I've been dying to get onto a couple of book pictures in this Gothic Fairy special, which was from, which was issue 45 from Colour in Heaven. This is my Kajalina. So I've done one in this month already. Um, where I want to do the space uh, lady and I'm going to pretty much show everything I've got at this one so it's going to be um, Everblend markers, I'm going to use Neutral Colour 2 on the background, we're going to use um, Posca possibly, uh, acrylic maybe, we're going to use glitter gel pens, maybe some stickles, some metallics, I don't know, everything we can. So and we're just going to go out of the ballpark, we're going to colour in all sorts of fabulous colours because she's like a space lady <laughs> um, so yeah we're gonna do this one so just a quick disclaimer this is an adult coloring channel is not intended for uh, children and the videos are not made for children at all um, but let's crack on so I'm using for her face ocean blue uh, which is a 255 from the RTZ Everblend markers because I want to give her a, a, a blue skin tone so it will have to we'll use the big one on her skin so it looks very dark it does lighten off, off a bit afterwards hopefully but I just wanted to give her blue skin so we're going to have blue skin and uh, multicolored skies and all sorts of things so because we can do whatever we want in our books. So I just want to say that we're all very, very well. Uh, my mum is getting, she's on the mend. So thank you to those of you who have asked. Um, she's still afraid to put any weight on her foot. Although she did try and put a bit of weight on it today and she said it was fine. There was no problem at all. So she's on the mend. Um, my dad went to the pharmacy to get her something today and he was telling the pharmacist all about what had happened. And the pharmacist said, with everything that's going on at the moment, we know what that is, we're not gonna go into that, um, that she was right not to go to the hospital just in case she picked up something else and she's better off resting at home. So while I would have liked her to have gone and got an X-ray, uh, it appears that uh, she's better off at home so I'm hoping in the next day or so she'll start being able to put some weight on her foot but uh, she also did hurt her wrist her wrist I think is worse than her her foot to be honest and she's got bruising all up her right arm but she's like me she bruises very very easy that's where I get it from I bruise so easily if I lie on a crease on a pillow I come out in a bruise and that's the truth so um so, for instance, I had my blood pressure taken the other week, just routine, as you do. And they take it three times because, obviously, the first time you're nervous and it's likely to be higher. And, obviously, by the third time they've done it, it's come it's set back down to, to normal. And I bruised from that. And I've still, and it was last, gosh, it was over a week ago, and I'm still slightly bruised from it, from the seams in the cuff. So... I know how my mum feels because I'm exactly the same with bruising. It's horrendous. So, there we go. Let's do where he is now. But other than that, we're all, we're all fine. Jennifer is fine now. It was just a 48-hour bug that, you know, kids pick up. Um, luckily I didn't get it so that's good because I usually pick up everything she's got because obviously I'm with her all the time it looks a bit patchy at the moment but I'll, uh, I can always you know go over that later I'm not worried about that because it's not finished yet there's going to be lots of uh, bits added to this lovely space lady so yeah, it looks worse. It looks patchier on camera than it does actually on the, the thing. So I'm not worrying about that. So we'll have this. This is skin. I think I will use the other end now actually. I do like these markers very much still. So I 
I originally was going to do her a bright blue, but I think I've got more ways to go with her hair and her um, armour and stuff if I do it this sort of grey blue. I like it. So yeah, I really wanted to get cracked on with this one for a while and I almost wasn't going to bother tonight because obviously with Jennifer when she was being ill I've been up with her all night and I'm still really tired from from that and worrying about my mum and, and everything that's going on that I just thought, oh, you know, should I? And I was just watching the Bibliophile Colourist do his and I thought, you know what, I am, I am going to do it. I want to do it. Um, I want to crack on. I want to do this picture. So let's let's film it. On Monday, I'll be filming my St. Patrick's Day video. So we're going to be doing one from Kauai Girls Grace, Kauai Grace Gale, which will be nice because there's a St. Patrick's one in there. So we'll we'll do that, and then we'll uh, see how it goes. You should get most of that done in one go, I would have thought, to be honest. So I do love these Colour in Heaven books, the new one's out soon. It's due out next Wednesday. So with any luck as a subscriber, I might get it earlier. I might not. I'm not worried. See, this time last issue, I'd already had it. I got it on the Thursday. The issue before that arrived on the Saturday. As long as I get it, it doesn't bother me. Skin. So, how are we all bearing up? What is it like where you are? It's, we're just uh, carrying on as normal at the moment in the UK, pretty much. Um, whether that's a good thing, I don't know. You know, following government guidelines. Um, we'll have to wait and see what happens as to... You know, they're constantly monitoring the situation and reviewing it, so we'll have to see. There are some people saying we should shut down all the schools. Some people are saying we shouldn't. You know, I can see both points of view in the sense that if you've got, I mean, a load of kids and they're off, are they really going to stay inside? You know, it's easy with a two-year-old to keep them contained, but if you've got a 15, 16-year-old, they're not going to want to stay in, are they? So it's, um, it's one of those things, we have to see what happens, you know, and um, I don't know. It's like with eBay, I've got to be honest, with, with Jennifer being ill and mum, I've just not been bothering. I have done some photographs today, but I need to, to get in draft and list and measure. Um, I am keeping it ticking over, I am posting, I'm sending out offers, but at the moment I've just, I've got no motivation. And this, this week has really, really drained me with my mum and then obviously Jennifer being ill as well. But I am just absolutely shattered, so this is why this is only going to be a very quick video. It's not going to be our usual 40 to an hour, it's probably about 30 minutes when I see that it's getting close to 30 minutes, you know, it cuts off anyway, we'll we'll wrap it up. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's really hard to know what to do. Yes. Still, I mean, I, we go by the government guidelines. If they suddenly say we're shutting all schools and nurseries, then we have to to think again about what's what's happening. Because I'm having trouble with childcare as it is, with, without my mum being available to have Jennifer at the moment. She's hoping that she'll be well enough to have her again within the next few weeks, and she's very optimistic that she will. But we'll just have to wait and see. I hope so, because I want my mum to be well. I'm not worried about the childcare thing. It's one of those things that work I have to deal with. If I don't get paid, I don't get paid. I stay off with Jennifer and we'll have a nice time. Uh, Paul's booked a couple of days off to spend with her if if my mum's not well enough in, in uh, 
at the, at the half term holidays because of course the childcare I have is a day nursery that's open 52 weeks. It doesn't close for holidays because it's it's not school. Uh, we'll just have to see. So. So I haven't been colouring very much at all. I am doing one in Chibi Girls, Grayscale, Jade Summer. And I've nearly finished it. It's just got a bit of the background to do. I'm doing the, I guess it's the film star one. And she steps out of a limousine onto the red carpet. I've just got like the, the skyscrapers to go. So it's the boring stuff. So I'm just doing a little bit each night now. But there's so many pictures I want to colour. And I am really, really enjoying using these markers that a lot of what I'm doing is with the markers. I want to do some more watercolours. I'm going to try my watercolours in the Clara Markova book. I don't know if they'll work very well in there. I, I've never used that book before. It came within a week of me ordering it, which is really, really good. It came really quickly. Um, so I'm really pleased with that. So I can't wait to... Uh, It's hard to see, that's her arm, what this bit is. I think it's the part of her gun, I think. Yeah, it is. Um. It's all good fun. I do like these markers, I must admit. At the moment, I haven't been really looking to see if they've got the other ones in. Um, again, just because I've been so caught up with everything that's going on at, at home. I'm sure I will at some point, if they're in, I'll order them. I've got the money for them. Maybe I shouldn't though, because we just don't know what's going to be happening. I might need the money. So, I'm not buying in any more colouring books or stuff like that this month. Um, got to be careful financially, really, because uh, uh, you just don't know what's going to happen. with work at the moment if they close the buildings or anything like that we just don't know what's going to happen so My swatch book here so I can see what colours I want. Yes, those three. Lavender periwinkle. And wisteria purple for her hair. So this will be interesting. We'll use the um lavender. This lavender is almost a blue, and I nearly used this one for her face. Periwinkle. And then we've got Wisteria Purple, and we'll just uh, so yeah, 
I've got to be honest, I am absolutely shattered today. It's... not good how tired I feel at the moment you know but I said I'll be uh, finishing this off and going to bed and then I'll film another one of these in the next day or so. Um, so, it's just a matter of just seeing how we go. It's so worrying when the little ones are ill. It really, really worried me. I'm glad she's better now, she's sleeping better because when she was sick she was really, really restless but now she's uh, much, much better, which is great. So, I was talking last time about Doctor Who. Um, I don't watch a lot of television, I'm not going to lie, I don't. I'm not one of those people who has to watch every single thing that comes on and all the series and in the UK all the soaps, like I don't watch EastEnders. I don't watch Coronation Street. I don't watch any of that. I don't like it. I don't see. I used to. I used to, when I was a lot younger, watch things like Corey and mainly because my mum would watch them, so it was on. I didn't have a lot of choice when I was younger till I got my own TV. Um, but yeah, I never used to have a lot of choice. Though I would watch what my mum watched, but now I I don't. I'm not into the soaps at all. Um, I watch a lot of YouTube obviously because and I do prefer that because of course it's tailored to what I enjoy so I watch obviously my colouring videos and I watch the um, some reselling videos I watch I watch ones about Doctor Who I watch ones about Marilyn Monroe I watch ones about um, retro gaming and records so lots of in interests um, but one of the things I have been watching is the Amazon Prime original, the Amazon original of, of Star Trek Picard. Now, I am not a Trekkie. I'm going to say this now. I am not a Trekkie. I am not a big fan of Star Trek. I've seen the original, obviously, and I have seen some of the episodes from the various other series like Next Gen and Voyager and Enterprise. And I've seen the new films. Uh, I've seen the first of the new films at the cinema. And I've seen the original films with um, William Shatner. Uh, but I'm not what you would call a Trekkie. It's not something that I say, I've got to watch. But for some reason, I thought to myself, I've got to watch this, this Star Trek Picard. I've got to... I, I want to watch it. I, I, think, I feel if I don't watch it, I'm, I'm going to regret it. I'm going to feel like I've missed out on something. And so far, I've really enjoyed it. It's been a really good series. Um really enjoying it's getting it's very gripping at the moment where where it's going i don't know but yeah i'm really 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 enjoying it it's definitely worth a watch if you haven't watched it go we're on i've just watched episode seven episode eight is out it's thursday so it's out today in the states out to, supposed to be out tomorrow in the uk although i know some of them have landed early but i sort of watch it when i'm in the mood so i tend to watch it the thursday wednesday or thursday after it's been on um, it, it also depends on how much YouTube I want to watch because sometimes there's nothing on YouTube I want to watch because I've watched everything I want to. So in which case, if that is the case, 
And then, of course, I will think, right, I want to watch something. I'm going to put Star Trek on. And that's what I do. So today, I, I mean, there's probably a few things on YouTube I could watch. For instance, I watched Picard first, then I watched The Bibliophile Colorist. But part of that is because Paul's not really into the YouTube. He likes seeing what I've coloured, but he's not really big on all the rest of it. Obviously, he's not into the colouring himself, so... I went a bit mad with her streaky bits. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, periwinkle. So. So yeah, I mean, I, I have really been enjoying Picard. Is anybody watching it? If so, what do you think? Um, is it just me that's really enjoying it? I, I don't know. I know my hairdresser is a big tracker and he's a bit annoyed because it's on Prime and he hasn't got Prime. Um, but he um, has been watching the one that's been made by Netflix or the one that's on Netflix. Netflix. So he's a bit annoyed really that there's something on Netflix and then something on Amazon. So I don't know because I don't have Netflix. Again, I just would not watch it. I would not. It, I couldn't justify the cost because I wouldn't watch it. I mean, I don't really watch a lot of TV as it is. Most of what we watch at the moment is see Beebees because that's what Jennifer wants. She's like, as soon as she gets up, it's Beebees. I was like, yeah, all right then. Waffle the Wonder Dog is her favourite at the moment. Oh my God, she loves that. When when it shuts down at seven o'clock, if she's not ready for bed, because sometimes, because her dad don't get in until really late, she stays up late at the moment, because she doesn't go to school, she's only got nursery, it's fine. If she was at school, it'd be a different matter. So she um, stays up spending a bit of time with him. But of course, as soon as it shuts down, it's that waffle, waffle. Well, she doesn't can't say waffle. She's sort of more like awful. Um, but I know that's what she wants. And she'll just watch that as, as long as you let her watch it. She will sit and watch it. She loves waffle. I mean, he's a cute dog, mine. Don't get me wrong. He's absolutely so sweet. But she absolutely loves waffle, wonder dog. And it's like, really? Again? She, every time it finishes, that like, more, more. I'm like, well, yeah, there'll be more on in a minute. you just got to wait a little while. And it's like, oh, Jen, come on. Because you don't try and turn it off. Because even if she's not watching it, she doesn't like it if it's not on. So she's like... Oh, well, where is it, you know? She's not watching it, it's just on in the background. And she's colouring or she's playing at something else. But as soon as you knock it off, she's like, no, no, put it back on. It's terrible, really. Should, uh... I do turn it off in the afternoon sometimes because I want it to have a nap. I don't want to watch in TV. And she's good as gold. And that, yeah, like I said, I don't really watch anything. It's all CBBs all the way. But uh, I, I enjoy some people. It's quite funny because I, I went to drama school a long, long time ago. And the guy that was in the year above me, Adam Assel, is in Andy's Aquatic Adventures, Andy's Safari Adventures as Mr. Hammond, the boss. Um, so I get quite excited when I see somebody I used to know on the TV. Um, but I was watching, well, she was watching and I did have no choice, Topsy and Tim the other day and the an episode where Topsy's off because she's just had her appendix out and this character named DIY Derek was in it and she saw him and she said, oh, it's DIY Derek and I looked up and I went, that's Glenn Davis. And, you know, my eyesight's not the best without my glasses on. I didn't have my glasses on. But I could still tell from his posture and voice that it was him. And Glenn Davis was, again, somebody I knew from... He didn't go to drama school, but he knew the, the um, 
guys that ran the school. So I, he was one of those guys who was around all the time. So we knew him as well. I was like, oh. Because my mum loves spotting. Because my mum knows Glenn as well. And she loves spotting Glenn Davis in things. So that's always, that's always fun. Here comes Glenn. So. So she's, it's going still looking a bit patchy here, but I will go over it and I'm going to add a lot of bits to it as well. So I'm going to put lots of sparkle on it and some like blue gel and some glitter and stuff. Um, we've still got a few minutes. We're well, not a lot. We'll try and finish off her, her hair here um, before we call it a night and I go to bed because I'm, I'm absolutely shattered. So yeah, we're just going to try and finish off her, her hair. And, uh, yeah. Oh dear. Before we go. I found her in the background in um, the neo colours because I've not used them and maybe I should have done the background first but you know what I'm I'll admit I'm a bit scared of doing the background so we shall see But yeah, I usually do the backgrounds last, so that's probably what I'll do. So, I am looking forward to crawling into bed, I'm not going to lie. Tired. Hopefully I'll start feeling more awake now that everybody's on the mend, mum's getting better and Jennifer's fine now. Which is good news, so I'm, I'm glad that mum's on the mend and she seems to feel she she feels fine in herself it's just that it's just, I think she's just scared now of putting any weight on her foot in case it hurts but she did put weight on it today and she said it was fine so I'm going to try and get her to stand up tomorrow and I'll pop in after I finish work which I'm not looking forward to but it is what it is It's necessary evil, isn't it, work, I'm afraid? I'm just keeping an eye on the time because it's going to turn itself off in a minute and I don't want it to end before we're actually ready for it to end, you know what I mean? As you can see, yeah, it's still a bit thick there. I find it's more uneven when you use the chisel, although you get a few lines when you use the other one. It's just, it's just learning to use the pens, which 
it, I'm still doing. But you know what? It's not the end of the world, you know. I'm enjoying myself. You know, it is easier on grayscale to hide any of the lines and things like that. So. If you do circle motion, you seem to get a bit better coverage. So, and this is what this is all about. This is about learning, learning how to use the different mediums because I'm not a professional artist. I'm never going to be a professional artist. I know this. I am a colorist. I enjoy coloring for relaxation, and this does relax me, even if people say it can't possibly because you're so quick. Um, it does. I'm not one that can sit there and keep going over and over things and making it even more, you know, because I would get bored. And that's just me. And there's nothing wrong with the way I do it. And there's nothing wrong with the way other people do it. It's just a matter of what you're happy with. And I'm enjoying this. Now, I am going to try and even out her skin tone slightly um, off camera before we uh, film the next part. But I'm not going to do that tonight. I know which colours I've used. So that's fine. I do know that I am going to put some sparkle on her face um, to give her a bit more interest. But yeah, we're going to call it a day now because it is um, getting late. We've been going over 30 minutes and I didn't want it to be too long. So this is how she looks so far. So obviously I'm going to even out the skin and then we'll come in and we'll do her cape and her armour, which we might use gel pen for. Sometimes it's seeing this bit and it's like, well, what's this bit here? Because it's not her hair because there's no line there. And what's this bit? Is this scar? This is this sky. So that's her arm. That's the butt of the gun. I'm thinking that should be hair, but it's not been defined properly. So I'll have a think about that. I'll have a look at the colour in heaven pages to see if anybody else has done it and what they've done for that bit. But that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I know we haven't done too much of her, but we will have another episode very, very quickly. Very, very soon, I do promise. And like I said, we're going to be throwing a lot at this. We're going to be using Posca. We're going to be using gel pens, glitter gel pens, um, stickles maybe. And of course, my first attempt at using the Neo Colour 2s on the background. And I'm thinking it's going to be all orange and red and yellow. I might do the bubbles green thinking green for the bubbles so i'll see you all in the next one i hope you've enjoyed this one if you have give it a thumbs up don't forget to like share comment and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and if you do subscribe hit the notification bell so you get notified every time i upload a video uh, i hope to get back to some sort of normality now and start posting uh, more videos so i will see you all soon bye guys